previously on the Last Kingdom Review episode. So what I think Osun's trying to do is I think Osun's trying to wipe out the Kisui army. I think he's going to have those troops draw Kisui deeper and deeper into uh, his territory. And once they're deep enough, he's going to use Shin and Mako to attack from his side. But at the same time, I would also think that Roboku may know this already. What is up YouTube, Live via Satellite here, and today we are talking Kingdom, Manga Chapter 521. And wow, today's chapter was awesome. I mean, like, there's no other way to describe it. Oh, yes, I feel like I got one right, guys. Now, I'm not going to say the whole thing is there, because yes, Shin didn't show up. So I'm not going to, I can't take full credit, but damn it, I'm taking half. You want this half? You want this half? So the chapter picks up right where we left off in Moten's hunting grounds where he's picking these guys off pretty easily to the point where the Gokaku cavalry has to retreat. And as they're retreating, Moten decides he's going to hunt them down from the back, you know, get some easy kills. Killing somebody from the back, it's, it's always so much easier, isn't it? Anyway, Bate sees this and he does not like what he sees. He decides he's gonna go put his two cents in. He gets pretty angry. So he heads out himself with 500 cavalry to attack Moten. Moten sees this and he bounces again. But Bate has not learned. He has not learned from the previous chapter and he gives chase. But his cavalry, it seems is much, much faster. And it seems like he's gaining ground on Moten. Bate is so pissed, he, he, he doesn't even heed Kishui's warnings. He keeps it moving. Moten is still going in because he's talking about how they have the intel from the last battle and how they know everything about the Kishui army and how if they can take Bate here, it would decrease the Kishui's army's strength by half. At this point, Moten has two guys falling behind and these guys are like spitting out blood and stuff like that. So, I mean, to me, they're already dead anyway, but he yells at them to keep it moving. They can't keep up. Bate rolls up on him and he's got his axe all out. And you're like, dude, he is about to slice these guys. And they do like the most boss thing I've ever seen. <laughs> like these two dudes are about to die and they like salute Moten. And I'm like, damn, that is a G way to go out right there. And I was proud of them. But then here comes Adjutant to save the day because you will not kill two useless characters on his watch. No, 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 Bate, I die here. I will not allow these two newcomers to take the death flag that I firmly planted in the ground last chapter. Bate is slightly surprised. So since Adjutant arrived, Moten decides, turn around, we're taking Bate's head here and now. Bate swings this ax and wow. Even Moten says the reports didn't do this man's strength justice. I was seriously saying to myself like, Adjutant, you just told us last chapter how you're just too old for this stuff. And yet, <laughs> Here you are. Here you are, adjutant. And I'm looking at this guy. I'm like, dude, maybe like 30 years ago you could handle Bate. It's like when somebody's old, but they don't realize that they're old yet. Remember when Peyton Manning was young and he ate the ball would come out? He had zip on it. and But then as he got older, things changed. And at one point, you're just thinking, man, dude, just go sell Papa John's. That is adjutant here. He needs to chill. Back over to Kishui, they see that Bate's got himself in a jam. Kishui decides that basically he can't underestimate Moten any longer. He's a great commander. So he begins to go into intense mathematics in his head. 30,000, I had 30,000, they took 1,000, they got 5,000, minus that, carry the one. Two, three, four, four. We should still have the advantage. Have all the formations turn to the right. We will destroy them in one swift blow. Don't mess this up. But as they make this move, the true glory of Osun's plan unfold right before us. Mako and his army are headed straight for Kishui's army. And they're gonna be hitting them on the left, which was their front, but since they shifted to the right, it's now their left. So the crazy part about this is that it's like coming in waves, man. That first cavalry was 5,000. They've got another cavalry behind that of 5,000. And then behind that, another wave of five to 10,000. That we don't know for sure who's in each one of those waves. Like, for instance, that last wave, they said it was five to 10,000. Well, Shin's group is 8,000. So that could possibly be Shin. We won't know till next chapter. Yeah, but that was a chapter in a nutshell, guys. And the reason I think Osin did what he did is because I think he's trying to even the playing field. Because if he can wipe out the entire Kishui army in one quick blow, 
then that would make the numbers so much easier to manage. They wouldn't be at a disadvantage any longer in a number standpoint. The numbers would be pretty even between Roboku and Osen. I mean, everything's going too smoothly, so I really think Roboku is gonna see this coming and he's gonna have a counter for it. So yeah, it's gonna definitely have to be Roboku time soon. But I don't know, I think next chapter we may not even stick here. I think next chapter we might go back to the Mountain Tribe and um, see what's going on there because we've been over here for a couple chapters now. So I think they might dip back over to the um, Yotanwa section of things and see what's going on there. Because they'll probably leave us on a cliffhanger thinking that Kishui is about to get destroyed and then Roboku comes and saves the day or whatever. But we will see next week, won't we? Anyway, guys, that was my review for this week. Let me know what you guys thought. Leave a like if you liked the video. Comment and subscribe. Peace out.